Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is the 12th video as part of our Tally's release 4.0 major releases. And this is the ninth episode of Excel import that we are seeing. In this video, we will learn how Tally is providing you apart from the sample template for your accounting masters, inventory masters, and vouchers. Tally also provides you with a template for you to use those templates in case you are having e-commerce businesses where e-commerce portals provide you the information regarding the sales in the Excel data. Example, you might be dealing on an e-commerce portal of Amazon and whatever information, the sales related information the Amazon is going to provide you is going to be in Excel sheet. Now, Tally has provided you a sample template of Amazon's detail of your sales in the Excel sheet where you can use that Excel sheet and start capturing the information accordingly and import it into Tally so that you don't have to re-enter the data manually. Apart from that, let us assume that you are moving from a third party software to Tally where you have masters and transactions which you want to import into Tally Prime. Again, Tally provides you a sample template for specified third party accounting or business software which you can use this template to quickly import the data into Tally Prime. So that is what we are going to see in this video. Let us see what are the templates that Tally provides and how are we going to configure these templates in Tally Prime, use this template for mapping and import the data into Tally. Let us find out what are the third party sample template Tally provides and how are we going to access the same. There are two ways of accessing this information. Firstly, the simplest way is if you have downloaded any of the sample template for masters or transaction, just open the file and click on the readme section. Let me just open the file. I have opened the all accounting masters file and this is the list of fields. When we click on ledgers readme on the right hand side, we see this instructions. Now the last line here, it says for more information on using sample Excel file for importing, refer to tally help. Just click on the hyperlink here. The tally help online page will open and it will take you to the Excel import section. The second option to open is if you have opened tally prime, click on F1 help. And when you click on tally help, it will again redirect you to the help online file. In the search bar, just type Excel import and click on search. The first link that we get here is how to import data into Tally Prime. Click on this and it will take you to the same page that we saw using the Excel's hyperlink. Scroll down to view the list of sample files. So we just scroll down here under this section, download mapping template for data entries applicable in e-commerce. We will observe that these are the e-commerce related sample excel files tally is providing you and other software also so if you see here we have list of eight sample software one is amazon e-commerce busy is a third party accounting software if you are moving from busy to tally then you can use this template again mark is another accounting software Odoo, QuickBooks Desktop and QuickBooks Online, Sage and Shopify. Shopify and Amazon are e-commerce portal. Rest are accounting softwares. Against each of the item, we see the zip file here. So all we need to do is download this zip file. Let us take one use case of Amazon and Amazon zip file and we will see what are the steps and configurations that we have to carry out for us to successfully import the data into Tally Prime. So select Amazon B2B zip file. And once you click on this, the zip file will automatically get downloaded in the downloads folder. We will see here that 
the amazon b2b zip file is downloaded here so once it gets downloaded the next step that we will do is copy this template to the default import and export folder that we have set in our first video to know how to set up the default folder you can see the first video on excel import the link for which is provided in the description so let me copy this file to our default folder that is excel data so we have copied in our default folder excel data the amazon zip file so let us extract this file so i'm going to right click extract all and let us extract in the excel data here and i'm going to extract so you will now observe that there are two items under the zip folder one is a tsf folder and other one is an excel file which is apr which is april b2b 2023 click on tsf folder and we will see there is one file called amazon hyphen b2b shipment dot tsf now this is an important step that we need to follow and remember for proper working of this activity so what we need to do is this particular tsf file we have to copy into another folder which is placed under tally application so how do we open tally application folder very simple you will see your tally exe shortcut on the desktop right click and select properties and click on open file location so the file location is opened here and let me open the tsf file also so this is the tsf file which we extracted and this is our tally application folder observe here there is a folder called config so click and open this folder once you get into the config folder again you will see two folders select excel maps and click on this now there are various tsf file which are there now this is where you will see that the accounting master file which we had imported from our own excel file and the stock item is getting displayed here so now we have to copy this or cut and paste it into the excel map config file under the tally prime application folder so i'm going to right click here let's copy this i'll copy this and paste it here so now this is the file which will create the mapping template now let us view the excel file so i just go back here click and open the excel file which we have downloaded here we can observe all the fields that we had downloaded from the default template that tally provided for amazon actually there are 89 fields so if you just scroll to the right you will see all this fields which are required to be captured information or probably the amazon would give you an excel sheet with all this information so the total number of 89 columns which are there but before importing we have to now create a mapping template to know how to create a mapping template for your own excel sheet check this video the link is provided in the description where this video explains how you can map your own fields that you have captured in your own excel without using the sample template that tally provides and how are we going to map the tally primes field with your own field check this video you can now either close this or minimize this file we can close this file open tally so we have to now create a mapping template so how do we do that click on import manage so we are going to create a mapping template select mapping template for the first time if you are creating then you have to map the masters subsequently you can map the transaction so we click on transaction so if you notice here this is our default folder and tally is recognized the folder this is the folder that we downloaded from our tally's help online page for amazon so this is the file we are going to select and this files the sheet name in this file is apr b2b 2023 so tally has already recognized the worksheet name also just select this and this is where we are going to create our mapping template so we have to give a name for the mapping template i just will say test you can provide a appropriate name and what is that type of voucher that we are going to import so we basically are going to import the sales so select this accounting voucher enter here and these are the tally prime fields so this is what we had seen in the earlier video or we had actually mapped this in our earlier video so let me just give us few example now select the voucher number here you will now see all the 89 fields that we saw here in the excel sheet gets listed for you to map this field with the tallies field so you have this invoice number 
which is column B. So you selected voucher number. In tally, it is voucher number, which is going to be the invoice number. And here you have invoice number as per the Excel field or you also have an option either you select invoice number and this way you are going to select each of the tally prime field and map it with the field that is there in your excel sheet the other option that you also have is that voucher number is here you can specify the column in the excel for you to map it so invoice number we saw in column b you can also say specify column now these are this 89 columns that you will see here and we saw the invoice number in column b so all you need to do is just say column b tally will automatically map it so the next one we have voucher date select voucher date and you have this field called invoice date enter so this way you will map all the field except this and then import it into tally i hope these nine episodes of excel import will immensely help you to comfortably capture data in excel and import it into tally prime i hope the steps that was demonstrated in this video would have given you an idea of how you can configure the Excel template and the, especially the TSF file. We took an example of Amazon's data sheet and we saw how we can use that and map it and import the information. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.